Okay, moving on. Let's see, still nothing bad out of Shanker. It all begins now for zero hands. All right, ten, ten jack of diamonds. Maybe this is it. Nope. You know what this is? This is... You know what this reminds me of? When I used to do hand history reviews of, like, horses and stuff, and I would have guys who just refused to open. They just wouldn't open. They wouldn't open ace three from the bottom. They wouldn't open ace six from the cutoff. They just wouldn't open. And what they would say is, dude, I always get three bet when I open. I just, I'm always getting three bet. And when I would actually look at their hands, they would just never get three bet. For whatever reason, they think they're getting three bet, but they're just not. And I wonder why that is. I mean, why do people just think that all these things, bad things happen to them when they just don't? And it's just, to me, it's just kind of like the, the car accident theory. Like, you know, every single time that you, that you walk across the street, for example, and you don't get hit by a car, right? You're not, you, you don't even think about it, right? Because it's just part of your normal everyday business. But that one time you get hit by a car, you're never going to forget it. And that's going to have to take on that big of a part of your brain. And so I, I really have this feeling that when people get three bet, four bet, and stuff like that, they really think that it happens to them more often than it actually does. Okay? Your mother died getting hit by a car? I'm sorry. Now I feel bad about saying the head under the desk comment. Although it was still pretty funny. Anyway, um, so in any case, so Shanker has this feeling he's gotten owned like every hand, and I don't think he's been even in one pot with him yet. So let's just see. All right, Ace Jack. Ooh, everybody's got Ace Jack. The whole world's got Ace Jack. So Johnny Lyon makes it 2x. Little Hold'em in, in complete out of character mints. Min three bets. I presume that Shanker cannot do anything about this. I really presume that Shanker just folds here. There's really nothing you can do. You just can't run the risk that he has aces here. And is messy. You know what I mean? I don't know. So he folds. And Laden flicks it in, I'm sure. Whoa! He folds for the 60. He folds for the pot odds. Interesting. Wow, folding jack seven of hearts. Interesting. All right, so ace queen. Anything happen here? Base nine open, two point five x like like uh like somebody lives in Costa Rica. Look at that. All right, you have to bet at some point. No big deal. All right, ace queen. I am, I am a hundred percent positive, what Chad does here. I don't even have to look at it. But just for the fans, all in. <laughs> Ace nine, open. Okay, so you did get three bet. And you fold. But it wasn't by Bryn. And there's another one. And the seven high just uh, gets right to the big blind. Bet. Good. Oops. Oh, you're flat here? Oh, God. You'll have none of this, huh? Oh, this is how you have a gut. Oh, you're double gutted here, huh? Okay. I didn't even realize that. All right. Let's get there. So now what do you do now? Ace 
is it just because of the paired board or, or would even a, like a, even an ace would make you fold? Yeah, but Chad, I mean, if, if, if we need one of four fours or one of four eights, right? I don't care if he has it, don't I? I mean... There's now 807,000 in the middle. And we're for another 270, and he's got another one point, and you have 1.4 behind. Oosh, I don't know. I might try it. I might try it. Fold. All right, we'll, f we'll open the 810 of clubs. This, see, this I think is the difference between Chad and Shanker. I think Chad would fold, would, 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 would call here in the big blind with a 10 6 of spades. I don't think that Shanker's going to call. Might, but I don't think he will. No. Okay, nothing here, I presume. All right, two aces. Yeah, I feel terrible for Shanker. I mean, this is like a terrible performance. I mean, like, he's getting three-bet every every hand. What? Yeah, I know. You're getting owned by Shanker here. I'm by, by Bryn Kenny. He's destroying you. He's just three-betting you right right out of here. Okay, so let's, let's make it... Um, I don't know, 380. You want a flat? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm 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 with Ryan on this one. You just don't think he has anything? All right, let's fold the 290 here. Let's Okay, so he bets, and you just called, and you're just trapping, right? You just, like, just presume that you're just going to double through him, and, and there you go, right? And so now what? I mean, now now what if what if he just bombs on you here? That's it? We just double up, and that's the end of the story? What exactly is nothing? You know what I mean? Like, what does he have here? Seven, eight, king, queen. Not, you know what I mean? There's a lot, of, a lot of crap in here that this board hits. All right, so let's see what happens. So he bombs. I mean, whatever. He bets a lot. So you call. Oh. <laughs> well, now for my next trick. So... And I'll tell you, man, Bryn is definitely not one to lie about his hand. He's 100% going to tell you what he has. Ah. Um, well, yeah, you're probably beat here. This is his board. What could he get called by? He can get called by two aces. Actually, he wouldn't have two aces here. Only, 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 a, only a madman would have two aces here. Yeah, I guess you couldn't call with less than a queen, right? A queen jack or something like that? Queen ten? <laughs> like queen ten, is, you know, that's possible. All right.
All right, so let's we got to get it back then. What can I tell you? Okay. I'm just kind of moving along here. So you think we're, you know, still about 12-handed or whatever? By the way, Shanker, you see who won like the 500 at Foxwoods this past week? Uh, Iftari. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, like we're going to fold queen eight. That's funny. All right, so we check call here, I presume. Well, we're going to bet this. Good. You want to bet this? Uh, You want to bet that, Chad, or no? You'd rather just check call here? Um, I, I, pr eh, I know Shanker. I probably would, maybe that, does that flush make all the difference? I guess just check call there. I think either is all right, but I, I think I check call. Oops. Ship it. <laughs> Seven hundred six thousand shanker. What's going on? Ace two. You're gonna fold this, regardless. Okay. All right, so we call it the ace three. All right. So what do we do now? Check call, I presume, right? Maybe, who knows? Fair enough. Check, check. Dude, what kind, of, you like this call into the 347? You know what, I, I guess it makes sense in a way only because I know that we went over these bluff, these big bluff sizes before in the last session. When I'm like, what the hell are you doing with these big, those big three, you know, 1.5 pot bluffs? Maybe, you know, you think that brain is capable of doing the same thing here. I don't have it in me. I don't have this in me. Yeah. Let's see. We called with, oof. That's a lot of thinness there. That is one thin -o, uh, thin o value there. Was he bluffing? What was he doing? I don't even know what that, what even was that? He was 1.5 times the pot with third pair for value? That was the plan? All right. That's, um... 
That is quite interesting. Right, so there you go, Shanker. There you go. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. You know, I, I mean, look, see, of the three people having this discussion, I would say that Chad knows Bryn's game better than the other two put together. I see. I always felt that that Bryn was 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 solid and tight. I really did, and I still do. I really, I I, I don't think he's one of these. He's he's going to be three betting light all too often. I just don't. Um, I could be, you know, again, as I said, Chad's probably talked billions of hands with him in his life, but I I don't think that he's going to be light here at all. Um, I, you know, not with. Not with three guys to act behind him and all of that. I don't think this is a bad fold at all. No, I know you never fold, but I mean, I know you never know, but I think from percentage wise, I don't think this is a bad fold at all. Um, that's actually not the worst idea either. What Chad is saying. I mean, it's an M of like eight or nine, but but I mean, it's certainly not ideal. But yeah, I mean, it is a sit and go type move, right here. Here it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, as I said, it's not it's not exactly an ideal situation though. I mean, especially if you if you're thinking we're approaching the final table bubble, right? If you're thinking that Bryn's going to be abusing you here, I mean, maybe maybe just jamming is uh, is the best. all about the results. Don't forget that. King Jack. There you go. I'd like to three bet that. Uh-oh. Called by A6. Yes. 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 You told Kroll he was going to call with A6, and Kroll would have said, no way, I fold Ace-Jack there. Sigh. Okay. Flick that in there, Mr. Shanker. I don't think that's a good idea in this spot. I think I would fold here. Good. So this is either the final table bubble or close to it. So here, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think you should jam here as well. Now, one thing I would like to know um, is, uh, is how short the short stack at the other table was. Um, that is somewhat relevant, but I still don't think that you could find a fold here. Even if, even if the 
shorter stacks have like 10 big blinds or something like that. I would, uh, yeah, this one I think is nitty. This one I would jam. It's tough. It's tough to do, but I would jam that. Okay, nothing. Open. Oops. What's the guy doing? What's the guy think he's doing? I'll tell you this, Mr. Shanker. I think I kind of jammed this one too. Or flat or something. He's made a full three X. Yeah, you know what I, st I, 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 I still probably flick it in anyway. Somebody was talking smack about Mendieta. Yesterday, where is this? Somebody, no, he didn't jam. No, no, not versus a three X, especially. Yeah, actually, anything there, I probably just flat there, five seven, or full. But I still, I still think you're, you're, you can flat there. Flat. Bet. Okay. Good. Um, okay. What do you do here, Chad? I mean, do you do you three bet something? You want to three bet call him? Make it like two hundred? 220. Call that gentleman rather quickly. Okay. Oh. And obviously we go away if the other guys come in. Nothing. Nothing. Flick this in, maybe? Yeah, probably not, but you do. Check. I bet here. Uh, yeah? I'll bet some point, for God's sake. All right, good. Oh, there you go. I got the max out of it. Oops. I got a note on this hand. I don't know what it says exactly, but. Oh. Okay. All right, so certainly I'm going to call one. Let's do that at least. Wow. Yeah, you want, you want no part of him, huh? It's a it's a rough river, right? What do you do here if he bombs again? You gotta call him. Yeah, I don't know either. No, no, no. It's a good river for our hands, but you know. But now you like. But <laughs> now if he bombs, you kind of probably be forced to call here. Yeah. It's definitely a good river for our holding. Let's see what he does. He checks. 
Now what? Just checking. Just hope you just take the 624. Yeah. Just checking and hope the computer just ships you the pot. Let's see it. Yes. No. Oh, what a check. What a champion. That is a sick check. <laughs> that is a sick check. <coughs> okay. He had a flush. Queen eight of spades. All right, so we're moving along here, right? We're still si actually we're not. We're still six handed. This table. He was trying to tarp. Okay, nothing. Nothing. And Chad, we could use a hand here soon. I mean, uh, Shanker, we could use a hand here soon. Oh, well. Don't blame Bryn for that. Whoa, are you a Frady cat? Bryn's making you into a Frady cat here? Ooh. That's right. That's right, Shank. Every time you cross the street, you get a fire car. Exactly. Queen Jack of Spades. So let's call. That's pretty funny. What do you do here, uh, Chad? Do you flick one in here? Probably got to do that, right? Okay. I just go away here. Okay. Nothing. Chad, everybody's waiting for hands at this point. I don't blame you. Nothing. Nothing. Please tell me you didn't fold here, Mr. Shanker. You don't, you didn't fold here. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, one time. Yes. Ten of diamonds. Yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you're up on 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 Bryn Kenny here, so I don't want to hear it. Oh, you just you just jammed the whole the whole pile here, the whole all of it, right? Watcha! Nice. Uh, Ryan's Mr. Tricky Tricky, inducing on the bubble of the 2K. Ryan Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Inducing on the bubble of the 2K. There you go, Shanker. Wait, you know what? I just got this. Why well, is so sick? I gotta check this out. I got. I I can't paste it. You know this um El Mongo. Uh, this El Malongo, he's a he's a subscriber, and he wanted to go over this uh, hand history, and he says I don't want to go over it because Shanker was abusing me. It was like so embarrassing. Like I had to raise fold to him at the fi you know on the final table bubble. And I bet you had something like Ace Four or something like that. So he didn't even want me to go over the hand history. That's how embarrassing this was. Ace 
ace three, ooh, ace nine of spades. Now, let me ask you a question. I guess this is like, a, I don't want to ask, ask you too much, Chad, but as an overall, you know, strategy, I mean, do you ever, like, four bet light here? I mean, do you ever four bet Bryn here? Like, it's like, because I know that, like, you know, that, that like, the new style is to just to flick, you know, throw in a couple of cold four bets here with stuff like that. Yeah, it was like Ryan saying. You know who else is a, um, you know who else was really, really, you know, I don't want to say good, but no matter how juicy the four bet light spot was, you know who would just never four bet light? In spots like, like ever, someone else who's made a lot of money playing poker. Bax, I don't think I've ever seen him four bet light in in my life. He's like, eh, plenty of spots later. But then again, if you're Bax and you like you get aces every third hand, then you probably get away with 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 passing up some four bet spots. So I mean, you have to certainly have to factor that in. If you know you're going to get ace every third hand and flop sets every time, let's see. No, not quite. Okay, let's see the fours. Let's bet these fours. Good. Nah, Chad's been pretty on. Only a couple of, of differences. And as Chad was saying, you can't hold him responsible now, sober, for what he would do when he was playing drunk. That's not fair. And guys, if you haven't figured it out by now, like, this is all part of Chad's image. It's awesome. Like, Chad has never had a drink while playing ever. He's one of those guys like like from The Hustler who would like go to the poker table and put like soda in like beer bottles and just like pretend to be drinking beer the whole time so that people would think he was drunk. I'm telling you, he's the best. Okay. Ooh. Possible poof coming. Ten? No. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Look at this. We're at the final table and this is what happens? Tens and eights? Bryn? What does Bryn do here? What? What? What do you do here, Mr. Chad? I guess you fold. Champion! How does he know? So Shanker calls, which makes sense. Eight. Oh, it's a good flop for Shanker. Thank God. If Chad four bets, then Shanker folds. We don't know what Bryn Kenny does, but Shanker can fold tens pretty handily there. What does what does Bryn Kenny have? Kings. What do you think Bryn had here? You think he had a, he think he was totally loaded? You think he had kings or something? Yeah, maybe kings. Oh, as a matter of fact, yeah, we had the replayer, right? Right, he had ace three suited. Oh, okay, so we had we had his uh, hand history in there also. All right, jack eight of diamonds. No, no, not interested. Okay, that's fine. Nine, king nine of hearts. Let's see if we get play king nine of hearts here. 
No? No. Nothing, 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 nothing. So this is for the big money. But Ryan doesn't care. Ooh, at King Jack folding like a champion with that with that with that stack now. Great. I like it. Okay, no good, no good, no good. We want to see some bust outs if they come. Ooh. Nope. King Jack. Ooh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Seems a little bit on the uh, on the on the Obladi side, but I don't know. It's not like anybody's that short here. Okay. Yeah, don't listen to freaking sheets of the spew spew box. Okay. All right, here's, here I put an interesting comment on. Let's see what this is. That is exactly word for word what my comment was. H and then three M's. It says on my sheet, 1030, that's the hand, H-M-M-M. That's exactly I, – I will tell you that if Chad calls here, I'd be very surprised. I agree. I don't know if we ever saw what he had. He did have ace-king. This, this is where Chad usually comes in and says – Man, I don't know how to do replays of that. I can't even find that on my software. Replays on PokerStars? Yeah, I don't, I'm not interested in that. You know, I, I couldn't even find it. Sheets, can you help me find where the replays are in PokerStars? I can't figure out where they are. I've been playing for 15 years. I still have no idea where the replays are. Man, I don't care what they had anyway. Meanwhile, the reality is he's already like logged all their hands into his database. And he's like run algorithms and, and, and put his own different like complicated HUD stats together based on the replays. But with me, he's like, what replays? They're replays? Man, you had no replays. I don't care what they have. Yeah, we'll see. Chad just, just, just Skype chat me. Actually, it was Ace of Diamonds, King of Clubs the guy had. So he knew exactly what he had, believe me. Oh, there you go. There you go, Bryn. Chad's back. Eighty to three hundred, indeed. Uh oh. Oh, we flatted that one. Okay. Mix it up. What do you do here? Do you just check behind here and see what happens, or do you bet and protect a little bit? Yeah, I think that's right. Check. Oh, God, that's a rough card. Again, not rough for our hand. Good for our hand. But here, it's good for our hand, but it's bad to get if we want to get a fold, right? Because it doesn't, you know what I mean? Because sixes and sevens and nines are no worse than we were. Yeah, now we, now we just fold, I presume. Okay. One sec, let me stop the tape for the last...